Hi there everybody, it's Rosie from inkbutterfly.com Thank you for joining me today for another card making video and this time we're just going to have a little, um, make it something a little fun with Hello Ladybug uh, This is going to be so simple um, really nice quick um, little card I say the only thing we're using is the Hello Ladybug uh, stamp set and the uh, coordinating um, Ladybug punch there Ladybug builder so that's all we're doing today. A um, bit of obviously using the punch to create the ladybug itself uh, and then uh, just uh, cutting out those leaves and just leaving it really, really um, clean and simple on a nice coloured card, card base. This is a lemon lolly and I've stamped the leaves in um, granny apple green and then we've got obviously basic black and um, we've got real red for the ladybug okay so um just get things started we'll um just grab some scraps of um cardstock here so we can just punch our ladybug body out of this little scrap of black cardstock you don't need a lot um of cardstock um for this it's only a little teeny tiny thing so um little little scraps of card are going to be perfect for this and then with the um before we punch the uh the wings or the shell i would i would say the shell sort of covers up the, the little wings underneath doesn't it so um i'm just going to um stamp these little spots first with the memento ink just getting that really well inked up uh, and just pressing that into the, the middle of that cardstock and hold that down just for a couple of seconds so that ink transfers beautifully uh, which means then we can just um, surround those spots with the punch to oh, I need that again um, line them up in the punch and get those all nice and cute isn't that adorable? Okay, so just lining those up. I guess it doesn't matter if it's not perfectly symmetrical. Um, but I want to aim for them to be. So that's about there. So we'll crop those out again. You know, just a little teeny tiny piece of card you need um, for that. Okay. And then we're just going to um, secure that onto the actual body part itself. Um, I'm just going to give them a little bit of a shape with my fingers in the palm of my hand there just to make them look, um, you know, a bit more domed, you know, like they would be on the actual insect itself. I'm going to pop a couple of mini dimensionals behind that sort of curve there. Okay. Um, just so that when um, the card's sort of making its way to its recipient, whether that be by hand or through the post, that's not going to get um, all squished. So I'm just going to... A little dab of glue went on there around the sort of... around where the neck's going to be there. I'm just going to pop that into place and secure that. And that's going to give us... The security at the top there but just a little bit of lift on the on the wings and just just to hold that shape a little bit so that's going to give that just a couple of moments to set while we um, stamp out our leaves so on the original sample I used granny apple green I thought we'd go with lemon lime twist for these ones and we want two of them, so we'll just stamp one and two. Basically pick a green, any green. <laughs> okay, you could do different greens if you wanted to. I just thought I'd keep it simple by just using the one colour. That's quite a juicy ink pad still because it's quite new, so that's why the, the lines have, aren't quite as defined in that stamp. So you may want to consider... Um, stamping off or um, or something just to help you with that I don't mind too much uh, and again we're going to just use our 
snips here just to um, fussy cut around uh, this leaf. So on this occasion I'm not leaving a border, I'm just going around which also means that if we're not super precise it doesn't actually matter. Um, so the reason I'm cutting on the edge rather than leaving a little border is because we've punched everything else out and nothing else is going to have that white border. So I think it would look a bit odd if this had a white border when everything else didn't. So like I say, it's a wibbly edge. Just follow it round as best you can and if you're cutting like I say over the ink no one's ever going to know where that line was ever supposed to be if you know what I mean. Go around the bottom here and then we'll just rinse and repeat and of course there's nothing to stop you just make it a nice smooth shape either so um, because no one would ever know that's what you wanted to do okay we'll just super quick do this one so if you were trying to um, get something a little bit more accurate I recommend doing this a little bit more slowly well, we just want to get this done have a little bit of fun nice and quick great thing for um, you know kids and stuff so, team it up with other sentiments I'm just sticking with the ones in the stamp set itself, which aren't always everyone's cup of tea. But we're going with it today. I've taken away that big bit that, that helps you get into those last little bits. Okay, so there we have that. And I'm going to actually just sort of go around the edge of this to sort of make the edges curl a little bit. You can do it with your fingers or the end of a pen or whatever. Just use what you've got just to sort of almost gives it like you know how lily pads are flat and then the edges curl up. That's kind of the effect it gives. Okay. And if you wanted to, you could sort of sponge around the edges a little bit, add some. Um, definition to the edges if you didn't want that white bit there so you could use um, use a marker pen to do that so we could brush a little bit of that around the edge and that'll just make those edges pop a little bit this is actually um, the granny apple green one so sort of a shade darker it's just going to define that edge a little bit. But that's totally optional, you don't have to do that. But now I've done one, I will do the other one, so it'll look odd. Okay, but I don't know whether that sort of shows up so well on camera, but there's just that little um, bit of a defined edge now on that. can do I say not necessary in, at all and that's exactly the reason why you do it when you're facing the back of your design because if you slip you'll only go on the back and no one will ever know you did it okay that's that so that's about the fussiest bit of this really to be fair Okay, uh, and that's it. So the only other thing to do is to stamp our sentiment, which we're going to do by stamping on top of one of these leaves. And we're going with this one, May Your Greatest Wish Come True. Um, so, um, ladybirds are considered lucky if one lands on you. So we're just going to pop that on the leaf rather than making a separate element for the sentiment itself okay 
could make it part of the design. So on this lighter green, that pops out much more clearly than it did on the original sample. Okay, I'm going to swap out the um, the card for the card base, I should say, for this um, the fresh freesia. Okay, so this leaf is going to go on first. There's just some wet glue there. The other one, we're going to um, pop a couple of dimensionals on, on. But we only want them to go on the bit that's not overlapping the leaf. So we want it on the point and on this, this area here. Okay, so we're just going to use those to secure that in place. All this isn't going to make contact, so that's going to be plenty to keep that on the card. So we can have those overlapping like so. It's all going to give it just a bit a bit more, uh, you know, a bit more life. And then this guy can just sit on the leaf. I don't know what we could do just to jazz them up a little bit. We could just add a little bit of um, something, something. A couple of rhinestones or something. That could be nice, couldn't it? Just to give them a little bit of... Uh, Oomph. So our uh, basic grindstones are really good for this kind of thing. So we'll just pop three of them on. Oh yeah, that looks cute, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Just sort of looks finished, if you know what I mean. Do you find the uh, the whole clean and simple thing sometimes a little bit challenging because it was, makes it look a little bit. I don't want to say naked, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So that was really, really quick and cute. Okay, so I hope that should have been um, been fun for you. It's not a set that I kind of gravitate to. I don't really generally do these cutesy things, but um, it was nice just to make something that was just quick and easy, and just the, the sentiment really does sort of pop on this um, lemon lime twist rather than this one with the granny apple green. Okay. Okay, lovely jubbly. Everything um, I've used today is going to be linked in the description, so do uh, check that out. Glad you could uh, join me today. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.